Hey, welcome back everybody to Bahasa Little Project. Selamat datang kembali di Bahasa Little Project. So, happy holiday to all of you who are going to celebrate um, Christmas. And also, obviously, we will have New Year's also. So, happy for all of us, right? So, today, in this lesson, we will be learning conversational Bahasa Indonesia for Christmas. And if you want the PDF of this lesson, it will be available on our website, bahasalittleproject.com. It might not be uh, available right away after I posted this video on YouTube, but it will be there. Okay, it will be there. Okay, so let's 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 go. This is obviously a basic to intermediate uh, lesson, okay, or Bahasa Indonesia. So if you just started learning Bahasa Indonesia, then this is the perfect lesson for you. So number one, how to say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas is Selamat Natal. So essentially, Selamat means congratulation, okay, and Natal is the Christmas part. So congratulation that you have Christmas, Selamat Natal. Okay, and we also have another version here. We we put hari, okay, in between. So hari means day. So here you are giving extra emphasis on the day of Christmas. Okay, so if you want to be effective or efficient, you can say Selamat Natal. But if you feel like you want to be a little bit more, um, you know, lengthy, <laughs> You can say Selamat Hari Natal. So both are acceptable. Both are formal. Okay, and then we have uh, Happy New Year, right? So Happy New Year is Selamat Tahun Baru. So Tahun Baru means uh, New Year. But we don't repeat the Selamat here because we already have it here. Okay. But if it is a standalone phrase, if you just want to say uh, Happy New Year without the Christmas, you need to put selamat in front of it. So it would become selamat tahun baru. Okay, so to sum up here, uh, Merry Christmas is selamat natal or selamat hari natal. Okay, and Happy New Year also has two versions. You can say selamat tahun baru or selamat hari tahun baru. Okay, so, uh, yeah. But I mean, yeah, now that I said it, it sounds weird. So people... You probably only wait, uh, only have one option for for Happy New Year because just like in English, right? We don't really say Happy New Year's Day, <laughs> right? So yeah, okay. So yeah, let me let me uh, repeat myself here. Let me correct myself. So if you want to say Merry Christmas, you can say Selamat Natal or Selamat Hari Natal. But if you want to say uh, Happy New Year, you you can say Selamat Tahun Baru. Okay, so yeah, selamat. If this is super new to you, make sure to pronounce the T at the end and the L at the end clearly. Selamat Natal. Okay. So yeah, the the next uh, the next one is apa kabar. Of course, we have discussed this multiple times in this channel, but here again, if you are super new to this channel, here we here we are. Apa kabar? How are you? Apa kabar? Apa kabar? Remember to roll your R at the end, just like Spanish, like apa kabar, not apa kabar, okay, apa kabar. Okay, so that's the greetings. Now you can send your loved ones in Indonesia or any part of the world who are speaking Indonesian. You can uh, email them and say Selamat Natal, okay, and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, now Christmas vocabulary. Uh, we, we, we have talked about Natal, and now we have Pohon Natal. So pohon is tree. So pohon Natal is Christmas tree. Pohon Natal. Pohon Natal. We have kado. Kado. This probably sounds like Japanese, right? Kedo. I know that word. I think it means uh, however, right? In in Japanese. But kado. Kado is gift in Bahasa Indonesia. Kado. Kado. We have lilin, candle. We have ornamen Natal. Ornamen, it's really a bit, uh, a bit hard. Ornamen, ornamen, ornamen. We have salju, salju, salju is snow. I think this sounds like a cute name for, for, for a kid. Salju, salju, salju. Boneka salju snowman. So boneka is puppet, puppet or a doll, but boneka salju is snowman. 
Oke, okay. boneka salju, snowman. Ucapan Natal is Christmas greeting. U ucapan is greeting. So, ucapan Natal is Christmas greeting. We have malaikat, angel, malaikat. Again, sounds like a good name <laughs> for kids. Malaikat, malaikat, malaikat. We discuss about the diphthong combination of vowel in our complete bahasa course level 1 to 10 if you are interested to learn more and learn deeply about bahasa Indonesia and talking about kado here gift we have a gift for you we have our end of the year super sale in which we will give you 50% off if you buy or purchase our bundle course okay complete bahasa course and you will get 50% discount if you want it you should go to our website at bahasalittleproject.com. If you haven't tried our complete bahasa course, go ahead and, and try the level one. Available for free on YouTube. Okay. Um, and it has helped 10,000 more of students worldwide. So I believe it will also help you if you haven't finished it. And again, if you want to learn more, uh, we have special deal for all of you on our website. So now let's move on. We have perayaan, celebration, perayaan, 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 celebration. Okay, so we have Natal, Pohon Natal, Kado, Lilin, Ornamen Natal, Salju, Boneka Salju, Ucapan Natal, Malaikat, Perayaan. Now let's move on. Now we have conversational phrases. What can you say, right? For Christmas, you can say, Apa rencanamu untuk Natal? Apa rencanamu untuk Natal? Okay, uh, again, we will not discuss the grammar uh, of this sentence because that is something that we discuss deeply in our complete bahasa course. You can check out level one if you want. But yeah, number one is, Apa rencanamu untuk Natal? Number two, Saya akan merayakan Natal bersama keluarga. I will celebrate Christmas with my family. If you are uh, listening to this on Spotify, you probably want to go to our YouTube if you want to read the, the, the translation and everything. Number next, we have, Apakah kamu sudah membeli kado untuk keluarga? Apakah kamu sudah membeli kado untuk keluarga? Have you bought gifts for your family? And next we have, bagaimana cara Anda merayakan Natal biasanya? Bagaimana cara Anda merayakan Natal biasanya? How do you usually celebrate Christmas? Next we have, saya suka dekorasi Natal. Saya suka dekorasi Natal. I like Christmas decorations. And the last one here we have, mari kita bercerita, sorry, mari kita berbagi cerita. Mari kita berbagi cerita tentang tradisi Natal di negara kita. Mari kita berbagi cerita tentang tradisi Natal di negara kita. Let's share stories about Christmas traditions in our countries. I think I forgot to translate the first sentence. Uh, at least for, again for those of you who are listening, I want you to know what, what you are listening to. Number one is apa rencanamu untuk Natal, right? So what are your plans for Christmas? Okay, uh, the last part of this lesson is Christmas activities. We can do memasak hidangan khas Natal. Memasak hidangan khas Natal, cooking Christmas dishes, bermain kartu ucapan Natal, playing Christmas card games, we can menyanyikan lagu-lagu Natal, singing Christmas carols, next we have menghias pohon Natal bersama, decorating the Christmas tree together, and last but not least we have mengunjungi gereja untuk misa Natal. Mengunjungi. So this is probably quite challenging because we have uh, we have nasal sound here. Mengunjung, mengunjungi, mengun, mengun. So repeat after me, okay? Mengunjungi gereja untuk misa Natal. Visiting the church for Christmas mass. So I'm hoping that you have been active uh, while learning with me, meaning that you are repeating after me and everything, okay? But again, uh, if you are curious about how to create your sentences, if you want to dive deeper into the grammar of Bahasa Indonesia, you can join our Complete Bahasa course. We have again a special sale for the end of the year of 2023. So I hope this is useful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, comment below or email me. 
whatever you want. So yeah, selamat Natal dan uh, selamat tahun baru dan sampai jumpa. Thank you, bye bye.